Washington, D.C.'s Friendship Collegiate Academy is serious about high school football. Last year, the Knights finished 10-0. This year, they're dominating their opponents with scores like 60-10 and 66-8. And they're doing all of this without basic resources. We don't have a locker room, so the kids uh, change up in, in one of those storage bins that you've seen outside. Uh, our weight room is a classroom which spills out to the hallway. Asar Abdul Rahim is the head football coach at Friendship Collegiate Academy. Every matchup is an away game for Friendship, a charter school on D.C.'s southeast side. We're going straight to handle business and get right back on the bus. This fall, the team has played in Chicago, West Virginia, Maryland, and Brooklyn. That's because their home field is a patch of dirt and sand dubbed the beach. Yeah, we don't have grass. But we, what, what is that supposed to stop? You're still here. I'm still about to try to be the best coach I can and get the team better, and, and we deal with it and move on. Good job, Demetri. But the most remarkable thing about Friendship Academy's football team is its success off the field. Wrap it around what you do with your jacket. Last year, Coach Rahim saw 19 of his seniors get full athletic scholarships to college. That's more than twice as many as any other public school in the city. Yeah, I need to eat everything, sir. At practice, instead of trash talking about the weekend's game, players compare SAT scores and GPAs. I had a 3.5, but I'm going to get track of that. Nah, last, nah, last year I had 3.5. Which is unique, considering friendship draws its ranks from D.C.'s toughest neighborhoods, in a city that graduates only around 60% of its public high school students. And of course, there's a euphemism in Washington, D.C. for poor and black. But you not only have a successful athletic program on this side of town, you have academically successful kids on this side of town. The rotting food in Sarah's kitchen was awesome. That's Friendship Collegiate founder and chairman Donald Hens. Hello. Hens never viewed athletics as a key component to his unwavering goal, getting D.C.'s least likely high school graduates into college. I believe if you if you're having difficulty reading and doing math, you probably should be in class, not running around on, on play field. My pleasure. When Coach Rahim first went into Hens' office to ask for a football team, no, he got rejected. No, so he came back with a strategy based on academics. I look at recruiting and, and getting college scholarships as a triangle. You know, and the, and the three major points is your measurables, uh, your highlight tape, and your academics. If you have high academics and low measurables and a low highlight tape, I'm still going to find you a football scholarship. Simple enough, but there's a secret ingredient that helps get the results. House Bill 1124. The D.C. College Access Act, passed in 1999, provides tuition subsidies to D.C. high school grads if they can get into state schools and traditionally black colleges. It's just extremely important to, to get to a college and graduate from college just so they're able to meet other people and realize that, you know, the bug doesn't just stop in D.C. One, two, three, four. At the end of the day, Raheem's strategy is not about wins or losses. It's about developing athletic talent, teaching discipline, and getting enough game tape to help market players to colleges. And parents around D.C. are getting the message. If you're hoping to get your football playing team a subsidized college education, friendship can help. We were a little desperate right now, you know. Thomas Riddick is a friendship football parent. His son Devon Burris transferred for his senior year. He tore his ACL playing for a different D.C. public school and is now trying to make up for lost time. What if I don't come go out there? What am I going to do? What's going to be my backup plan? That's it. That's it. Thomas Riddick eats, sleeps, and drinks football. Like many friendship parents, he even travels on weekends to see his son Devon play. Yeah, he's over there. He hopes to be going to his son's college games a year from now, but he's preparing for other possibilities too. I'm working two jobs now. Uh, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. He might not go to the college that he deserves to go to, but uh, we don't have to make a way. Knowing that college, not football, has become the priority for parents like Thomas Riddick is music to Donald Hens' ears. I really don't care if they win any games. I, I care about them being together. I care about them building camaraderie. I care about if they do well in school. 
Coach Raheem agrees with his mentor. There are bigger things at play. But at halftime, with his team looking lackluster, it's clear he wants to win, too. You should know how you feel. You don't feel good about this shit, because I don't. For Time Video, I'm Jesse Hardman in Washington, D.C. Let's handle our business. Let's go, man.